So what we are looking at is the neck and shoulder complex. Yeah. So neck and shoulder complex always move together. So first and foremost, you know the basic neck mobilization ex exercises. That is moving the head up and down. So moving the head up and down is one very good neck mobilization. And moving the head from side to side is another neck mobilization. Then after this, what we can do is a static stretch of the neck muscles, that is the sternocleidomastoid. So you just go this way. Now if you hold it a little lower, that's the origin of the muscle, you'll feel the stretch a little longer. So you can feel the stretch going all the way in this area. This is a good stretch for those of those people who have very tight and facilitated muscles of the neck and the other side like this. Sometimes what people, people do is they could also just very gently pull along like this but please be very gentle because the neck and the tissues and the nerves in this area are very very gentle. Don't over exaggerate it. Don't over exaggerate the stretch. These are one stretch and couple of mobilizations. Now, another good thing that could happen here is something called as occipit massage. Now, just below our skull, <coughs> there are these spots. So, Barbara will show us now. Barbara, come here. You see here these two spots this is exactly where the skull ends and the cervical vertebra starts so what individual can do is take two fingers and massage very gently in this area because usually because we have so much uh, of device in our life in front computers mobile phones and usually our head goes forward like this and strains the cervical spine so what you could do is you could take two fingers and massage very, very lightly in this area, just like she is massaging and very gently come lower, lower, lower. You could either do it in circular manner or also you could do it longitudinally. This will release the tension, the fascial tension in the upper cervical part and really allow mobility to come back to the head. Another very important point I need to mention here is, just like I spoke before, that many of us in modern times are becoming forward head oriented. We know or may not know, but it is happening. Usually the normal alignment of the ear is with the shoulder. If you see her normal alignment, the ear naturally aligns with the shoulder line. This is the best possible alignment of the neck but because of excessive usage of de devices in the front and other things the ear does not go in line with the neck this brings a lot of strain in the neck also in the front of the neck so what we have to teach the modern participants in yoga classes asana classes is something called as a head glide head glide is consciously bringing the chin back and staying there holding 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 so what Barbara does is she brings her chin back and stays there so basically you're digging the chin inward now you can see a person whose head was like this consciously comes back like this now when she holds this when she holds this for say 15 20 seconds she will start feeling the muscles in this area so basically she is number one aligning her head back in the alignment that is natural and secondly she is also strengthening the muscles in the upper cervical spine area to hold the head properly. This is very very important. Later on if she wants a little more resistance there she can take both the hands and put the arms back like this and press against the hand. So. 
look what she is doing she is pressing her head against the hand because of which the resistance in her upper neck has increased so these are basic stretching and strengthening and mobilizational exercise that one can do for the upper cervical and cervical area